This is the solution to written homework 25. Uh, it's in, the exercise is an integral from 0 to infinity, so the integral is improper. And to be clear about that, <coughs> you can see that for this function, which is being integrated, at 0, at x is 0, uh, that would be 20 over 1 squared, so that would start at 20. And then as <clears throat> x gets bigger, 4x plus 1 squared gets bigger, and so the function decreases. And it looks something like this. <clears throat> and the region that's being requested is this region, which extends infinitely far to the right. So because this region is not bounded, that is to say you can't draw some circle around it because it will always extend past the circle, uh, we cannot use the fundamental theorem of calculus <coughs> to, ev <coughs> to evaluate this integral. So, we would really like to use the fundamental theorem. So, what we'll do is we'll truncate the region. Which is to say, cut, off, cut it off at a finite place. Say, at some point... A. So if we cut it off at point A, then this is the now the region we're talking about. And this region is bounded. You could draw a circle around it, which means that we can compute the area of that region <coughs> with the fundamental theorem. So we'll compute the area of the region from 0 from zero to a. And then we'll take the limit as a goes to infinity. So it'll be a two-step process. <clears throat> so it will be the integral from 0 to a, 20 over 4x plus 1 squared dx. So now, this is a proper integral, which means we can use the fundamental theorem. I'll make the substitution u is 4x plus 1, so that du is 4 dx, so du by 4 is dx. <coughs> I'll go ahead and change the limits. U evaluated at 0 is 1, and U evaluated at A is 4A plus 1. <clears throat> so after all of that substitution, this is integral from 1 to 4A plus 1 of 20 over u squared du over 4. <clears throat> Simplifying a little bit, that is the integral from 1 to 4a plus 1 of 5, I'll factor out the 5u to negative 2. So it's 5 factored out because <clears throat> 20 over 4 is 5 and then factor it out. We can use the power rule for this. So this would be 5u to negative 1 divided by negative 1 and then evaluated from 1 to 4a plus 1. <clears throat> I'll use this negative 
to switch the order of evaluation to get 5 uh, times 1 over u evaluated from 4a plus 1 to 1 <clears throat> which is 5 multiplied by 1 uh, minus uh, 1 over 1 which is 1 minus 1 over 4a plus 1. So this is the area of the truncated region. And what we want is we want the area of the of the entire region. So now we'll compute the limit of this as a goes to infinity. So the integral from 0 to infinity of 20 over 4x plus 1 squared dx is the limit as a goes to infinity of this expression 5 and 1 minus 1 over 4a plus 1 So the limit of 5 is 5, the limit of 1 is 1, and the limit of 1 over 4a plus 1 is 0 because 4a plus 1, as a goes to infinity, becomes infinite, and 1 over infinite is 0. So the answer is 5. <clears throat> For the next one, it's a very similar story with a similar looking region. And so we'll need to, to truncate it in the same way. So this integral is improper. We cannot use the fundamental theorem. <coughs> so we'll truncate, truncate So this would be integral 5 to whatever your favorite letter is. I'll use k. That seems good. Then it will be 3z over 5z squared plus 8dz. So now this is a proper integral, which means we can use the fundamental theorem. <clears throat> we'll need to make a substitution. So how about w? is 5z squared plus 8 so that dw is 10z dz so dw over 10 is z dz I'll go ahead and change the limits now <coughs> so plugging in W evaluated at 5 is, well, 5 times 25 is 125 plus 8 is 125 plus 8 is 133. And then W evaluated at K is 5K squared. <coughs> Plus 8. So the new integral after the substitution is integral 133 to 5k squared plus 8 and then 3 over w dw over 10. So factoring out that constant, that'd be 3 tenths, so 3 over 10. And then this is integral 133 to 5k squared plus 8, and then 1 over w dw. <coughs> the antiderivative of 1 over w dw is 
is log absolute w. So 3 tenths log absolute w. And then evaluated from 133 to 5k squared plus 8. So that would be 3 tenths. And then log of this minus log of that. But log of a difference is quotient. So this would be log of 5k squared plus 8 over 133. <clears throat> so this is the area of the truncated region when you truncate at k. And we want the area of the whole region. So that means we need to take the limit as k goes to infinity. So that's integral 5 to infinity <coughs> of 3z over 5z squared plus 8dz. That must be equal to the limit as k goes to infinity of this expression. 3 tenths log 5k squared plus 8 over 133. So the 3 tenths is just 3 tenths. 5k squared plus 8 as k goes to infinity, this term, this argument to the log, <coughs> is going to go to infinity. Because you're squaring something that goes to infinity. And then log of an argument going to infinity also goes to infinity. <clears throat> and then 3 tenths multiplied by something going to infinity is infinity, so the answer is infinite. <clears throat>